Hi, welcome to my video. Today we're going to see how to apply conditional formatting in SharePoint modern lists. We can do this by JSON code. Uh, we cannot do the SharePoint conditional formatting for a classic SharePoint list. So you have to change it to a modern list. Um, so here's my modern SharePoint list and we'll try to apply some formatting to the column units sold. Let's take for example the maximum units it can sell is 5000 and you can see the values in the unit sold column is less than that or pretty much close to 5000 so here we have 4200 something but nothing touching 5000 units yet. So if you like to see the progress visually how, how much it has been sold so far uh, here's how we have to do it. So first you have to go to the list settings then in the list settings you come down choose the column unit sold and you come down to the last uh, section that's called column formatting here's where we will be adding our JSON code so for easy purpose we have uh, JSON code already taken and this is a simple uh, JSON code that tells the column to adjust itself based on the maximum target level that we set against the current property value so here in this case it talks about the schema uh, what elements uh, that we are going to change the property which is the div and we change the current element of that and we change the properties of that uh, and it uh, talks about sp field data pass so all this you can uh, you don't need to change anything so you can leave it as it is and this line it talks about you're changing the style in that style we change the width of the current column based on the current fields value uh, it talks so it's a if condition it talks if the current field value is equals to total target in our case it's 5000 then the width should be 100 percent if not calculate how much the percentage against the total target value and set that as a percentage uh, so we're going to copy this code go back and paste it and change the total target to 5000 in our case and click OK so after implementing the JSON code uh, you can see the column formatting has been done um, it can also shows how much the progress was against the total 5000 target that we said so if you quickly scroll down uh, we can see the the formatting has been applied nicely and for the 4219 value you can see it's almost touching the uh, the hundred percentage of the width so this is where the column ends so you can see almost the progress is as accurate as possible um, so this is one way of showing uh, applying the conditional formatting to a column we will see another way now we will see another type of example uh, to assign a background color to a column based on certain column value. So let's focus on the first column segment. Here we have different values. Let's pick two values for now and we will consider uh, to apply some colors on some values. So we'll pick the first government value and mid market. So we'll uh, try to apply some colors for these two values. So I have here an example that shows you how you can apply uh, background color to if the column is on a particular value or not. So here it is pretty much the same. So you apply the div value, you apply for the current values and you start applying the style attribute. And now we're going to apply the font color as white because when we color it has to stand out and we apply some padding left and we start changing the background on some conditions so the condition is you ask the condition and you check if the current value is equal to certain column value if yes if if it satisfies the condition you apply a certain column color if not this is the else part you go and check the current value again to see if it is matching another value and then you apply the color or else you apply the default color so this is the first value that we're going to check then apply the color color number one if not check column value number two 
if it matches apply column number color number two or else for everything else apply the default color so in our case we go ahead and change the first value sorry it's government and we put the color red and our next value would be mid market and we apply the color if it matches mid market we will apply green and for all the default value we will apply let's say green okay so this is like an if statement if it matches this is the condition or else you go and check another if condition and if it matches the second value apply green or else for everything else green so let's copy this code go back to your site list list settings list setting you pick the column segment you come down to the column formatting and you paste our JSON code and you can expand and see if it is right uh, so we choosing the government if it's government apply red if it's mid market apply green for everything else gray let's click OK and the page is loading coming back to our list and as you can see the first column has been formatted as it is required all the matching words for government will be red and the matching words for mid market will be green and for everything else it will be gray so it's nice and easy so now we will see another example uh, let's say for in your case if you have you need to match three or four column values and apply three or two four different colors and you want to add an extra condition so how you how you can do that so you go back here uh, so this is our original one we have to add one more condition to add a condition and as also a color a matching color as well so what you have to do is you need to pick the else part and copy and paste it in another else part so in our case this is the innermost if if condition so this is the innermost if you have uh, you opening an if statement checking the operator if it equals to mid market applying gray and this is the else part so we have to replicate this section under the else part so you select uh, the any if condition so you copy that you come back remove the else part which is the gray in this case you come to a new line and you paste it so here's your matching parenthesis you take it to nicely you align it so that you won't get confused also you take your else part as well along with you and here we're going to change it to something else uh, let's pick uh, for example enterprise we see if it's enterprise let's show it as orange so if it is enterprise show me orange and everything else is green so we are adding one more if condition in the else part so previously it used to be green and there was an else part we copied an if condition remove that else part put another if condition to check if the operator still matches enterprise apply orange or else green so now we will copy this section again now go back to your list list settings and go back to the column the same column again and you select you delete and you paste the new code make sure the new column if condition and else part is there your orange and enterprise mid market is stays the same and government for it okay now click ok and we come back to the list again and you can see the new color for enterprise keyword which we wanted to be orange is present here so for everything else is gray 
so channel partners we can assign new values small business channel partners so so this is an example of how you can keep on adding a value if you want to add one more condition for example um, you need to pick the innermost if condition and replace the else part of the if condition with the if condition that's it so basically you need to pick the innermost which is in this case this is the innermost if condition copy the same and replace the else part of this inner condition and you're going to replace the grade that's it uh, and you keep on adding the values to it and one point to note here the values that you're comparing against the column should be very very case sensitive because if the case is not matching it won't appear for example if you type as smaller case m in this case it won't appear so it has to match the exact value with case uh, then it will start appearing in the uh, values um, so these two codes i will put this in the description so you can pick it up and start applying in your code there are several other ways that you can apply column formatting for your sharepoint list and and you can modify and represent in a nice way so that's it so thanks for watching this video and hope it will be helpful for you guys thanks bye